Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here for today's video. We are doing a two season rebuild of the 2010 2011 Chicago Bulls. This is, of course, with uh, prime MVP Derrick Rose on the team. What I like to do with this series is I like to put those teams, you know, these historical teams into the current NBA and kind of like rebuild them within my own vision and kind of make them uh, contenders in this day and age of basketball. So we got the 2010 Chicago Bulls here. As we all know, Derrick Rose is on this team. He's got a three year, $84 million contract. At this point, uh, he's got no injuries, so he's still a beast. We got. Uh, See, this is not bitch-ass Noah. This is just Joe Keem Noah right here. This is before he evolved into his final bitch-ass form. Uh, this is, you know, $9 million a season, 86 overall player. Like, that's really good. I'll definitely keep that on the team. And this is also Lou Aldane for his final bitch-ass form of going to the Lakers, um, you know, where he pretty much rides the bench. It gets paid like $100 million. So, in this case, he still does have $21 million. So, I don't know if I'm going to keep it on the team or, team or not. Um, I might see what kind of trade value he does have. Uh, we have Todd Gibson, who's really cheap at, you know, 76 overall. Still a really good, like, role player like he is today in the NBA. We have Monte Ellis on this team, who I don't think was actually on this team. I just think 2K just threw him on here because that's how 2K is sometimes. But you know what? Maybe I would have signed him in free agency. It's actually a good sign anyway. Monte, you can stay. We got Kyle Korver, still a beast three-point shooter. A one-year, $11 million contract. We get CJ Watson. Y'all know how many bitch-ass contracts came from this team? Like, what happened to this team right here, man? Omer oh, like he also had a really bad contract, too. Oh, my God. There he is, guys. Wow. The real reason we are doing this rebuild. The man himself. Brian. The GOAT. Black Mamba. Michael Jordan. Space Jam. Scalabrini. That's his official nickname. It's on his birth certificate, I guess. All right, guys. Let's get going on this rebuild right here. What I really want to do is get some shooters around uh, Derrick Rose, some athletic players. So I might actually do a trade here of Taj Gibson just because, like, you know, he is a good player and everything, but I do feel like uh, he could have, like, blossomed on a different team um, in his younger age. So I'm going to give up maybe a Taj Gibson, toss in a Luol Deng. Future first-round draft, see what that gets us. Hopefully something decent. JJ, no, that's not decent. Zach Levine, no. Jalen Brown, no. Schroeder. Uh, not doing a sound wise. I already do have Joe Kino, who I'm perfectly fine keeping um, on the team. All right, so not really like any like great offers here. Like I'm just, I'm not gonna like give nobody away. Uh, Avery Bradley, Tobias Harris. That's actually not a bad little fit. Like Avery alongside Derrick Rose, Tobias Harris. He's a good shooter at least, but I might just keep Luol Deng in that case. All right, let me do a trade to the Taj Gibson. See if I can just get like a stretch four out there. So we'll do uh, Taj Gibson. Um, two first round draft picks. See what that gets us. I would take, like, I don't want Ryan Anderson because I can't start with the bitch-ass contracts already. Like, we already know how that, you know, ends up for the uh, Bulls going forward. Okay, so Frank Kaminsky, Derek Favors, Jones Jarepko. I mean, that's not bad for, like, some one-year deals right there. I know Derek's, like, not really a stretch four, but I think he's got a decent mid-range shot. Nope, I lied. <laughs> 73. Absolutely horrible. Julius Randle and Jordan Clarkson not feeling that. Dang, dude, like, we don't really got much trade value here. Um, Serge Ibaka and Norman Powell. <laughs> Y'all want to toss in a time machine too and go get me Michael Jordan and Bill Russell? Then we'll talk. Dang, dude. Patrick Patterson on a two-year deal alongside Raymond Felton. That's not really worth uh, two first-round draft picks, is it? Yeah, man, I'm not really liking these deals. Like, these are just kind of trash. Like, I might honestly just wait till the offseason and go from there. But I do might I might want to free up some money with just Luol Deng, though. Like, I'm still kind of considering that. Let's do a uh, deal just, just with Luol Deng and do the draft picks again. No Todd Gibson. Might get something good here. Lori Markin and Zach Levine. Okay, so we can combine. This is kind of like a. This will kind of be like a, a video of like, what if uh, Joe Kim didn't become a bitch ass? What if Derrick Rose was still an MVP? Because these guys would stay on the team here. I might honestly combine the Bulls teams and do that deal. I actually like that one a lot. Oh, um, we could get like a. I don't know, man. I, I, I mainly like that just because like how cheap they are. You know, Kyle Lowry. Don't need that. Rudy Gay. No. Otto Porter. You know what, man? Bulls Nation, stand up. I'm gonna get you all Lori Markin and Zach Levine back on this team comes the ultimate what if video now it's like a video within a video it's bitch ass exception as we'll call it okay now we got jameson star at small forward though so that's definitely not gonna work so now this will allow us to probably trade away a Taj gibson here and uh i might actually put kyle corver at small forward might try that out or scalabrini why not toss another first round draft pick need a small forward though that's what we need on this team come on 2k give me something good mirror titch i'm not getting i'm not getting no more bowls that's enough uh, Marcus Morris, I mean, 77 overall player. That's not too bad. And we get Aaron Baines, Michael Green, Dwayne Dedman, Marvin Williams, Derek Favors. All right, so not like any, like, superstar small forwards being offered at us. But, uh, P.J. Tucker, they do call him the LeBron uh, stopper, but it's a little bit too much money, especially for that age. 
So I think I'll hold off on that. Give me, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Marcus Morris just because like he's a decent shooter. Uh, 76 open three, I guess, you know, 84 mid range shot. He's got height on him. So yeah, let's do this deal right here. He might, come off the, he might come off the bench, though. I might just start Kyle Korver at small forward. Let me do that. Let me grab uh, Kyle Korver. Put him at small forward. Goes to... Bro, his rating is only... He was only a 73 rating? For real? I thought he was higher rating than that. Well, we'll probably start Marcus Morris in that, uh, in that case, then. Okay, so we got... Like, that is such an athletic backcourt right there with Levine and Derrick Rose. I like that a lot. Marcus Morris, decent player. Nothing special, but decent. I don't know why he's wearing Jimmy Bucket's number. Uh, Laurie Mark Cannon, you know, we can start developing him on this Bulls team here. Bench is actually looking pretty decent out there, too. We got CJ Watson, good backup point guard. Um, I love the spacing of this team. So, yeah, guys, let's go ahead and submit this first season and see if Derrick Rose can lead us to the NBA Finals. Okay, so for our first season, we did finish uh, third in the Eastern Conference, which I'm actually pretty happy with because um, this, like, first season was not really about, like, contending quite yet. I mean, I guess in a way it kind of was, but at the same time, um, I think our best season could be the second season here. So, actually, the uh, other Chicago Bulls finished right behind us at 44 and 36. Uh, similarly through date against Milwaukee Bucks here and get a W. So, yeah, third place. Definitely good with that. Check out this. Out. Okay, so we got Steph Curry, MVP. All this stuff is pretty much the same. We got, ooh, Joe Kane Noah, Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, 13 points, 15 rebounds, and three blocks, and one steal a game. Even somehow shot 24% from three, expanding his range. Please don't try that in real life, man. Last time I saw you shoot a jump shot against my Detroit Pistons, uh, that ball was about 10 feet to the uh, right. Looks like just like one of my jump shots, I guess. All right, so Luol Deng actually got all NBA uh, first team, but that, or all uh, defense first team, but that was for the other Chicago Bulls as we did trade away his $20 million uh, bitch-ass contract. So hopefully we can sign more of a superstar in the offseason. Player stats on the season, we got how Derek Rose do. 23 points, okay, I mean... All right, I'm, I'm, I was still hoping for, for uh, more like, you know, like 27 points, you know, maybe like 10 assists out there. He got like two steals is nice. Zach Levine actually did pretty decent. Marcus Morris, 14 points. He'll definitely be a bench player for us next season, though. Um, Laurie Mark Cannon, you know, depending on how he develops this offseason, might be a bench player, too. Joakim, I thought, played really well. Our bench actually did really nice out there. I still think we can compete this uh, season for the championship. So first round, we do have the Miami Heat. Similarly, current round. And wait, which one are we? Which Bulls are we? Okay, we're that Bulls. Okay, so we have the Miami Heat. That's right. Okay, so Derrick Rose, 27.7 assists. 27 for Zach Levine. Still absolutely loving that pad court. Uh, 18 for Marcus. 10 for Kyle Korver. Okay, now we got the Toronto Raptors. Similarly, current round. And we got them four games to one. All right, all right. 32, 7, and 7 for D. Rose. 17 for Levine. 16 and 19 rebounds for Joe Kinoa, along with two steals and two blocks. And here we go. We got to Cleveland Cavaliers. We don't have that awkward moment of playing um, ourselves in the NBA Finals, at least, or Eastern Conference. Similarly, current round. And, of course, we lose to the bitch-ass Cavaliers, man. Because what else is new in 2K? It don't matter if it's the 2010 Bulls. It don't matter if it's the freaking 1960 Bulls. It don't matter if it's the freaking 1700 Bulls. Cavaliers always going to find a way to beat me down, man. Yo, how did, uh... Yo, how did, how, how did Brian Scalabrini do? Wow, man. You know... <sighs> It's, it's crazy. It's crazy that the man got zero minutes a game but still managed to get .5 rebounds. Like, that just shows the godliness of him, man. But I do think it just comes down to uh, Scalabrini is that he probably feels bad for LeBron James because, you know, Brian Scalabrini knows that he could just completely steal that legacy. So he just decided, you know what, LeBron, you could have this one right here. You know, Crispy and I can handle it. So that's pretty much what, just what it is. All right, simulate playoffs. Get through the offseason here. But this is what really matters as the Golden State Warriors uh, win the NBA Finals. What else is new there? All right, get to this off season. I don't think I have any draft picks. If I do, it's not gonna be very good. So we're gonna go straight to, go straight to our rookie signings. I really want to go for like maybe like a mellow to be that to be that small forward for us. Darren Palmer. I don't want you, man. I, I don't want anything to do with you. Decline. Team player options. What do we got? No team options. I think that's a good thing. That means we won't gotta like worry about nobody walking away. Uh, Zach Levine. We do have a qualifying offer for him, so hopefully nobody tries to throw him a contract. The moratorium period. Here we go. Uh, where is is Derrick Rose not here? No, he's not, well not the Derrick Rose we want. That's the uh, broken down Derrick Rose. Okay, so I don't really want Kevin Durant. Paul George on this team actually would be a nice fit. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him some money. See if we can try to get him. Like him and uh, Derrick Rose in his prime. That's feeling pretty crispy. Right, we actually got a lot of money to spend here too. Okay, we'll give him 30 million. Uh, Melo. He wants so much money, dude. But I'm gonna give it to him because Melo and the Bulls just sounds right. Like I wish that kind of would have happened. Dwayne Wade. We tried that once before. Did not quite work out. Um, for a force, but what do we need for a, what we got for power forwards out here? 
nothing really like great i guess demarcus cousins is there we could go for him i really just want like that big name to put alongside um derrick rose you know what i'm saying okay can we, oh can i get both okay i cannot get both okay so obviously i gotta take paul george over mellow right obviously you have to do that so i'm gonna do that demarcus going back to the pelicans that's fine um how much money do i actually got left to now it's just, it's just like i got about 18 million dollars so i might be able to uh maybe trade uh we got any more bitch ass contracts out here I could try to trade away Marcus Morris, free up a little bit more money, try to get mellow. Might do that. Come on, 2K. Just give me like a uh give me a draft pick here. Just give me a draft pick, man. I mean it's not really not that much money being free up. I still don't think it would like do much for us, but who knows? Um, okay, so probably no draft picks offered here. That's fine. Okay, I mean I don't really like need mellow all that much. I mean, Marcus Morris is okay, I suppose. And it would just kind of be an awkward fit anyway. Laurie Markhan is going to be a year better. Um, but we can still, like, sign somebody else, I guess. Shooting guards. Like I said, we still want to get Levine back. Power forwards. I mean, I'm good with Laurie Star on that team. Um, dang. I really want to try to get Mello. Oh, oh, what's this? Okay, why is this thing I can... Before I said it would take me over. I don't think this is going to work. I think I think this is 2K cheesing me here, guys. I think 2K is cheesing me again. Now it says I got to decline him. Agree. Yeah, okay, so it is just cheesing me. All right, so let's just get past this little period here. Agree. Okay, now we're actually in free agency, I think. There we go. Now it says we can't afford him. Uh, Brooke Lopez is still their decent player, I suppose. Greg Monroe, that's too much money for you. Zach Levine, still going to try to get him back. JJ Redick, no. How much do you want, Julius? Too much money for you, too. Okay, so yeah, not really like any great players left here. Uh, Seth Curry, I always love him for some three-point shootings. So hopefully, we can get him to sign on the team. All right, he signs. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead, man, uh, simulate the beginning of the season and uh, see what our final team is looking like okay so our final team is looking like this Derek Rose we got Levine back on the qualifying offer we have Paul George uh Lori Markane and we also have Joe Key Noah here uh bench is a lot stronger as we got Marcus Morris we got some really good offense out here also Seth Curry can also play the point guard position uh behind Derek Rose or at times play alongside of him to help kind of complement him with some shooting Oshik still a bat a good decent backup center I guess and we also got Demetrius Jackson I think he's from Notre Dame isn't he yeah he's actually uh he's an okay player a little bit of a shooter out there. I mean, six foot, not going to do too much for us on this team. But yeah, guys, overall, I think the addition of Paul George kind of gives us like our superstar duo with him and uh, Derek Rose. Levine still can put up, you know, 20 points a night. And Mark Cannon, that knockdown shooter. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and simulate this final season, see if we can beat the bitch-ass Cavaliers and the bitch-ass Warriors and the bitch-ass NBA. Okay, so I thought the Eastern Conference was just like doing like really bad. I saw the Cavaliers had like 48 wins, which is actually pretty decent. But then look at our record. We got 70 wins on the season with this new team. Like, adding Paul George alongside Derrick Rose. We got Zach Levine back. This team did absolutely, like, historically good right here. Once again, man, Bowles absolutely dominating basketball. So we got Russell Westbrook, MVP. Luka Doncic, Rookie of the Year. Jeremy Lin, six man. Joakim Noah, defense player once again. Um, as he has 11 points, 13 rebounds, and about four assists per game. Plus three blocks and over one steal a game. So we just beast it. Tom Thibodeau. How do you say his name? <laughs> Coach of the year. So we got Joe Keem Noah, all NBA first team. Like, no wonder this guy got so much money. Um, you know, from like the Knicks or whatever. Actually, no, I don't know how he got that much money, but he did. We got Paul George, all NBA second team. So no Derrick Rose anywhere, which is kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping for him to like really dominate. But it sounds like he kind of took a back seat to uh, Paul George on this team. Player stats on the season Paul George, 26 points, uh, seven rebounds, four assists out there. Derrick Rose, 23 points, eight assists. So still really good numbers. Levine, 16 points. Uh, Lori Markan is still doing work out there. Marcus Morris off the bench with Seth Curry. Both over 11 points per game. We already know uh, Joakim Noah's numbers. So uh, we had, what, seven players average over 10 points per game. Like, that is it's kind of unheard of, isn't it? I mean, that doesn't really happen anymore in the NBA. It seems like, you know, you got, like, your big three out there, and they all do the work, and everybody else just kind of fills their own little role. So here we go. Uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Round one. Simulate current round. See how this goes. And we beat Giannis down four games to zero. Close out game looking like this. 35, 13, and 7 for Paul George. 32 for Derrick Rose in 1984. for Laurie Mark Cannon. Laurie Bird, as I like to call him. Okay, we got Charlotte Hornets. They're always get, uh, really good on this game. But not this time around. We got them four games to zero. And uh, we got close out game 24, 6, and 11 for D. Rose. 23 for Paul George. And 21 for Zach Levine. Very consistent shooting. 7 for 10 for Marcus Morris off the bench. Okay, uh, LeBron James, Cleveland Cavaliers. Please let me beat you all down. Please, man. Please. And we do. We get him four games to two. Close out game. 27 for Zach Levine. Uh, 24, 10, 7, and 5 for Paul. Double-double for Joe Noah. 20 points off the bench for Seth Curry. Knocked down his threes. 18, 5, and 12 for Derrick Rose. Honestly, man, just like the... Uh, 
I don't know, just like the makeup of this team. I feel like I built a really good team. Like all these players just really complement each other really well. And like I said earlier, I man, I did not expect Joakim Noah to be like that good for us as he got three steals and five blocks out there. Okay, Houston Rockets. Simulate current round. And we go out there, sweep the Houston Rockets. Four games, zero. Derrick Rose, your finals MVP. That feels very nice to say as I just feel so mad, bad that this man has so many injuries throughout his career. 26 points, 10 assists, uh, 57 or 56% from three. Closeout game looking like this. Zach Levine actually the hero of that game as we put up 141 points. 31, 25, 20, and 13 for D. Rose. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, this uh, video, man. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace out, my friends.